Hey everyone, um, I'm not sure if this is recording. I'm trying the screen recorder thing. Um, but I wanted to let you know what I just found out. This is crazy. So, there was a blood moon last night. And not a lunar eclipse, just a red moon, which is a huge deal, biblically speaking, because, um, you know, the Bible says, before the day of the Lord, the sun will be darkened and the moon will turn to blood. So we know the solar eclipse just happened. This blood moon just happened. They're blaming it on the fires on the West Coast. I'm not so sure about that. Um, I mean, it could be, but my friend on Facebook, who is someone I trust, just told me that the moon was red in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is all the way over here on the East Coast. Um, so I don't know. This is crazy though. And I had a feeling like if the moon turns to blood, it'll be unexpected. It's not going to be something that NASA predicts. And, you know, and this happened last night. And with all the other events going on, um, it's not that surprising. We are obviously either in the tribulation or entering the tribulation. Um, the West Coast is on fire. The East Coast is about to be hit by a major hurricane. Um, Texas is flooded. There's earthquakes in Idaho causing fear with Yellowstone. Um, North Korea is threatening us. I mean, it's, it's pretty clear that we're in judgment or uh, the birth pains and it's very strange considering on September 23rd we have the Revelation 12 sign which is a woman giving birth in the sky um, and that's seen with the constellations and she's giving birth on September 23rd and the Bible talks about a time of destruction before the wrath called birth pains what happens before someone gives birth? Birth pains. So if you haven't already put your trust in Jesus Christ to save you from your sins, now is the time. I know a lot of people are, um, you know, going to wait until the last minute to accept Jesus. So we're in the last minute. So now's the time. <laughs> All right. Um, I love you guys and I hope you have a blessed day in the Lord. And I'm going to put the link to this article in the description for you. All right. God bless.